Nairobi's captain claims he is firmly on the cockpit. Only he has opted to steer the plane from a neighboring one. You see, Mike Sonko has turned into a stay-at-home governor. His palatial home, etched atop one of Manzoni's scenic hills in Machakos, is now more than just a residence. It is an office as well, from where he runs the capital's operations. On Monday, Nairobi's county executive members trooped to the private firm to hold a cabinet meeting. It is a necessary inconvenience, Sonko says, alleging that a senior government official is baying for his blood. I'll mention names because I have the evidence. This same Kibicho tried to issue some threats. He said, this governor, one day I will use the machinery of the intelligence and the police and he will not last. To finish him, he can't take a day. So the problem, the main problem started when I called the PCI on Nairobi area and I've got the evidence with me, given the safari complaint with, with me, I called PCI, PCI Yokamwende one morning, just a few days ago. I told him, PCI, oh, I have a problem. My life is in danger. One of your bosses has threatened me. But the entire police force decided to go personal about me. They decided to divert the entire issue at the governor's security. The Interior Ministry has reportedly slashed the opulent governor's security detail from 15 down to 4. And you know Nairobi County, the cartels I'm fighting with. So what does that tell you? It tells you something. Somebody cannot threaten your life. Then at the same time, he withdraws your security. But I appreciate that position. I cannot fight the governor, I mean the government. But as he retreats into his self-imposed exile, he leaves behind a city in disarray. I agree the roads are in a pathetic condition, garbage. I admit, even the other sponsored polls by the TFI was ranked the last one. I have accepted. So let us move on. We are all Nairobians. Critics, however, treat Sonko's claims as mere excuses for non-performance arguing his leadership falls far below expectations. Sylvie Tibet, Citizen TV.